giant posters in the streets of Baghdad and non-stop adverts on the television. Prince Ali bin Hussein is everywhere. A pretender to the throne of Iraq, he's the cousin of the country's last king, Faisal II. But he's not campaigning for the throne just yet, but rather a regular old seat in Iraq's elected House of Representatives. When the country goes to the polls, Hussein will be trying to galvanise future support for a revival of the monarchy by winning votes for his constitutional monarchy party. Rather than retiring from the political arena and leaving people to deal with their problems, we decided to get involved in the electoral process to support the unity of the country, to re-establish stability and security. The prince may come from a Sunni dynasty, but he's running as part of a Shiite conservative coalition, which also counts radical cleric Moqtada al-Sada's party among its members. Critics say it's an opportunistic move that follows previous defeat under a Sunni coalition, but the prince himself maintains it's all down to a desire to bridge the traditional divisions of Iraqi society. We're working hard to come up with a list which represents the different political currents and factions, as well as the ethnic diversity of the Iraqi people. We want a list which isn't dominated by one doctrine or another, and our aim is to build up a state on solid foundations. The former investment banker has a decent chance of winning a seat for the Iraqi National Alliance, and from there, who knows how far he might go.